Marcos, el chino Maidana. Vicious, Víctor Ortiz. Huesito aquí para arriba, los trunks están un poquito alto para los dos, así que dense la mano y buena suerte los dos. ¿eh? Ortiz told us the last time that he was a headliner for anything is when he sang Old Christmas Tree at a school play in grammar school. Ortiz in the white and green, Maidana in the red. Manny, what are you looking for early? Well, you know, Maidana seems to be a little uncomfortable that I appeared studying his body language, so I would thought that if he comes out, he could. Ten first round knockouts for Maidana. Remember, 19 of his bouts have happened in his native Argentina. Great left from Ortiz, then shoots left to the body. Good yeah. left hand by Maidana. Both guys come out fairly dry. Neither one of them is really sweated, warmed up like most fighters do. Ortiz got caught leaning, then he landed a right and a left combination. Counter right, and then Ortiz drops Maidana. His legs are very shaky, Bob. Shaky. He needs to he needs to hold, or this could be very bad news for Ortiz. Ortiz was down in the Asalas fight back last year. Got up and finished him off, but Victor Ortiz is in trouble. Can Maidana finish him? Ortiz short left. Well, good thing about Volk has a punching. But I think that's smart to try to smother this guy and not give him any space while he's hurt. Final seconds of round one. And every push this round has been a power. What a round! Here you see the first knockdowns coming in from Madonna was coming in caught with a right hook that he didn't see because he was delivering his own punch. And then you see it's very similar coming in. You see Madonna land a short straight right hand. Madonna 17 of 61. Each man was down in round number one. And both men, particularly Ortiz got up off the canvas, not from flash knockdowns, but when it looked like their nights might be over. But, but Madonna has got nothing to lose. All he can do is just do what he's doing, just come out and brawl and hope that he can land the shot because he doesn't have the steel boxing skills of Ortiz or the speed. That is a looping yeah. right hand. That's what he's got to do. into a shot. It looked like their heads even came to King to make sure there's no blood. The right hook to the body by Ortiz. Ortiz tried to load up a power shot. Maidana counted right hand. Drops Maidana. He quit. Here comes Ortiz trying to finish it here in round two. He's got power with both hands. Ten seconds to go. Steps in with the left. Hooks to the body. Maidana trying to fight back. He goes down again. Can I be saved by the villain in round? He's up and he's getting his count. Here you go. You see the knockdown. And the knockdowns are always coming because both guys are so aggressive that they're going in with no mindset on coming in, throwing punches, not while they're trying to get away from punches. It is it's amazing. We've had four knockdowns. In round two, they were all power shots at 54%. Each man was down once in round one. Maidana down twice in round two. And not get two counters. Good right hand, though, by Maidana. I mean, Ortiz made a few moves that looked a little defensive from long range. Got hit right on the chops by a good right hand. But responds, you see Ortiz's temperament. That shot hurt Ortiz. Eight brothers and sisters. Well, Maidana just missed with the counter right. Got the shoulder of Ortiz. Ortiz has a lot of heart. And it goes back to his life. <laughs> the, the, the 
punches. Oh, Madonna's getting slow and wider now, even though he's punching with a lot of power. It, but, the, you know, it seems like at this point, Ortiz yes, can see his punches and kind of adjust and prepare for them a little better. As we get ready for round number four with Ortiz and Maidana underway, here's our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. Okay, BJ, you had to score a 10 to 10. I mean, there just wasn't the winner. Both guys scored knockdowns because he scored two knockdowns, and I thought Victor Ortiz still won the third round, even though Marcus Maidana's got that sneaky right hand that he gets in. But in round three, Marcus Maidana started to do this. He started to hold. A hard rabbit puncher, semi-rabbit punches when those guys get caught. You know, Maidana got dropped in the first round and twice in the second, and he hadn't been down. But the, the way it's going now, anyone can catch anyone the way these two guys are fighting. Double right hand, Maidana blocked part of it. Ortiz was only 22. You know, a little inexperienced at times where you said get that jab going a little bit. Don't play for just the big shots where he kind of drifts away from the game plan. Yeah, but I think he's you know, well, he's been fighting good. I, you know, just, I just think he needs to box a little bit more because he's still a much more accurate punch at this stage of the fight. Of Maidan. Great fighters and championship fighters. Maybe not always the best idea against a puncher like Maidana. Oh, Ortiz doubled up that right hook. Man, you saw it. Maidana cautioned again for that punching behind the head, that rabbit punch. Though, though Martez quit fight, he actually was moving like a boxer without boxing. They exchange big shots and then hold on. Now they try to fight out of it. Ortiz is cut on the right eyebrow. The way these guys are going, anybody can go down. These are, are nuclear shots. Good shot by Maidana. Right up the middle. Go, oh, big right hand by Maidana. Maidana cannot miss with the right hand. Right here, you can see Maidana land the left hand right on the eye, and that's what caused the cut. No doubt about it. It was definitely not a butt. Here we see Maidana come in here and throw a right hand once again, right on the other. Could have cut his other eye, in fact. So it's been ruled a punch, and Maidana comes right out to start round number six. Maidana's throwing, or he's not going to win this fight. I mean, he pulls back. Maidana is in figured, trouble. Maidana's figured out he can't miss with the right hand, and he won't stop throwing it. Ortiz is in big trouble, and he goes down. Three, four. And I think the left eye is what I'm up to. Yep. Let's go back. Let's stop it. They're going to stop it because of that cut. What a fight. We just saw a moment in a fighter's career that could define his career. And, you know, it just this is what happens in our sport. In other sports, you can say, time out, you're cut, or you're having a problem with a style. Marcos El Gino. <laughs>